when you receive a press from a manufacturer, it will come with a set of instructions or a manual of some kind. You want to read this manual and go through all the details before you put the press together or operate the press. And here's an example of why. This particular press comes all heads down, factory adjusted. However, for us to ship this press, we have to remove the platens and pack them separately. And then we remove the platen arms that are underneath the platens. So for the customer to get this press back together the way we had it here at the factory, they're going to have to read this manual. If they don't read the manual, they won't get the press together the way we had it, and they will not be able to enjoy the benefits of all these heads being down at the same time where the customer can print with any print head at any platen and always be in registration. So read your manual. When you get your machine together, you want to make sure it's tight. Let me show you some examples. One, this collar arm should not rotate or flex in any way. You see, it's very tight. But if yours flexes, at some point it pivots. At that pivot point, you want to see where the movement is and tighten as appropriate so there is no flex on your machine. You want to be able to rotate the head of the machine freely. You notice there's no sound, it moves very easily, that's the way it should be. If it's too loose when you rotate, then the risk is when you get underneath and you push up here, these two plates will separate. And you can see I'm pushing as hard as I can and there's no separation. If there was any movement between those plates, then you'd have to go to the center point where it rotates and all machines are made this way and tighten that up if it was too loose. On the other hand, if, if it's uh, too tight, then the head would not rotate freely and we'd have to make an adjustment in there to loosen up. This particular press, the head moves freely, it's not too tight, not too loose, the arms don't flex, the machine's tight, this machine's ready to go, but you want to check your machine. You want all of these platens exactly the same elevation at all levels. You don't want any pitch because if there's a different pitch or elevation, that's going to change the off contact when you're printing and it will change your registration. The way this press is built, we have a plate which is absolutely flat. The platen arm is bolted to that plate, so these arms are all exactly the same elevation and the platens rest on that arm and the platens are all the same thickness, so they're all exactly the same. However, in your press, you may not have that same type of construction. So what you want to do is take a stationary object like this flash dryer, which is not even plugged in, I've taped some paper to it, and then what you do is you rotate the platens underneath the paper, and what you want to see is that distance, that gap between the paper and the platen remain constantly, constant when you go from one platen to the next. And if you find that there's a different angle or elevation, then you know that you're going to have to make an adjustment to your press to bring all your platens to the same elevation and so they're all absolutely flat.